Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Apples and Tiaras. If you guys are new here, I apologize about the ring light. Um, my name is Charlotte and I'm a third grade teacher in Arizona. So today's video is going to be all about making anchor charts at home. And this is not a new thing. This is not something that like I invented or like I came up with on my own. It's completely like found from other people, like ideas that I got from others on Instagram, YouTube, things like that. Um, I'm just going to show you how I have my setup and the products that I use for um, making anchor charts at home. So here we go. Okay guys, so first of all, ignore the mess in the background. This is my little office. So this is the good, uh, Goody or Godi. I don't really know how we're pronouncing that. I'm going to say Goody. This is a Goody mini LED projector. You can see compared to the size of my hand, how small it is. It's probably the size of a camera. Um, but basically what I do is I have it on my tripod that I usually use to film on. This is just a Zomai, Zomi, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, tripod from Amazon. Um, and it's just pretty tall, which I really like because um, it makes it easy to attach to this and then it doesn't move, like it can hold, it holds it pretty steady. Um, the cords do pull on it quite a bit, so without the tripod, I was struggling. Um, okay, so then across from the tripod, I have a small whiteboard slab. This was purchased from Home Depot. Basically, I have some other ones here. Um, you can find the um, dry erase or whiteboard slabs and they're just really long. I had them cut them in half or in thirds. I don't remember, this was like three years ago, but basically I have this hung here and all I did is kind of hang it with some screws so that it wouldn't fall out. And then at the top, I just have these binder clips. And what I do is I just kind of push and then I clip the chart paper directly to the whiteboard. So the chart paper that I have is just what my school provided us with when we ordered it. And these have lines in them, which I'm not a humongous fan of, but it was free, so I'm gonna use it. And then the markers that I love using for anchor charts are just the Mr. Sketch markers. So I just have these like right here on my desk next to my workspace. And then I always have a pencil just in case there's something that I wanna trace with a pencil instead of a marker, um, just so that I can go back and like trace it in later. So yes, that is what I'm gonna show you today. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is where I actually get the anchor charts to project onto my board. So there's a couple ways that I do this. Either I make my own using Keynote or PowerPoint, or I have Amy Grossbeck's anchor charts um, that we purchased through Teachers Pay Teachers. And then also, if you just go on Pinterest and then take a screenshot, you can project those onto your board as well. Of course, that is cheating um, if you don't pay for it, but, um, everyone's going to be doing that. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of ways I do it. Okay, so the first one that I have is the Amy Grossbeck's Anchor Chart um, pack, and it comes with like tons. She has them for like every, um, what do you call it, <laughs> subject. Um, so today I'm going to maybe use this one just because it's simple. This kind of font I cannot make on my own. Um, so the purpose of projecting it is to copy font and then also like shapes like this and then items like these, like writing in a straight line on an anchor chart is really tough for me, especially if I have the paper that doesn't have lines. So I might copy this one for you guys today just to show you how it works. Um, another way that I do this is I might take a screenshot of an anchor chart and then project that onto the wall. Um, I think we've all seen this one, love that one. And then another way is to create your own. So if you have your own fonts and things like that, you can create your own anchor chart. And again, I really love projecting it because the fonts are so cute and I just can't produce those on my own. And then again, um, making things straight and clean and look nice. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy one of Amy Grossbeck's. 
So I think I'm gonna copy this one. And so the Goody projector will connect directly to your computer using an HDMI cable. So I'm just gonna get this all set up and lined up. Um, obviously this will be different for everyone depending on your projector, depending on what you're projecting on and depending on your computer. So I'm gonna get this lined up for you guys real quick and then I will show you how I trace. All right, so I am going to need to project this one in different sections basically because I want that top part to be the biggest and then the slide is sort of cut off so what I'll do is once I um, trace this part then I'll move the slide up a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and clip my paper on this is what my setup looks like I've got my computer open it's connected to the projector and it's also dark in here because I can see way better in the dark so I'm gonna go ahead and start tracing So this is what it looks like when I'm finished. And as you can see, there are some, you know, messy parts to it, but that's the power of marker. And I'm gonna go back through and just make some of the lines a little bit cleaner, um, maybe a little less wavy, but I would never have been able to get this font <laughs> on here or get it centered without projecting it. And then the circle's a little bit funky, but it is what it is. Um, way nicer than it would have looked if I had done it by myself. All right guys, there you have it. That is how I am using my little projector to make anchor charts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at apples and tiaras. I do a little bit more updating there. Um, pretty much every day. Um, if you liked this video and it's helping you out and you wanna see more videos like this, then don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.